All right, now in the previous video, we had talked about looking at this example here, and you'll see that I started making some corrections if you've watched the first video, um, dealing with how to correct. So, um, oops, put that back. So if I'm going to go about the idea of correcting this paper, cleaning it up, and you'll see that this line here indicates where the thing is, and you'll notice, as I said earlier, this stuff right here is mainly, typically if I right-click it and accept it, because this is places where I have made alterations to fix the formatting. And so most of this can be simply right-clicked and accepted. You'll see here that I keep hitting accept change. And keep in mind that, again, I turn track changes off. That's an important step when you begin the correction process because it's going to be on because I have made correction process and I've been using it, for example, right here with Wade. You'll see that part in blue there. Now you'll see that I've done that and all these lines here are gone. Now you'll see that right here there's still a line. And what I'll probably need to do is just go through there, type it in. Boom, that's gone. Go down here. A lot of these, like I said, these are formatting and track changing corrections. Oftentimes the best way to, to fix a track change is to simply retype it, which is what I did with the title up there. Uh, now comments like this, this is me telling the student or you in this case that I want you to be doing something. It says here to reply to a comment, delete comment, resolve comment. Um, if, you, if you know what you need to do, you can just simply delete it and then what I would expect you to do is come back in here, add quotations, integrate it, and I wanted to see probably another, at least one more paragraph of writing. And so most of the ones that they're formatting, you can simply hit accept change. If it's a comment where I've laced in words or something for I want you to do, it says give us more, uh, give us more here as in summary, quote and cite. You'll need to delete these once you're done with them, but that doesn't mean you're not you're, you're resolved. Now here's an example of me accepting change, but you'll notice that I put a period here, and oftentimes I just need to go back and type it again. So like I said, there'll be situations where there'll be formatting changes, and then there'll be situations where there will be uh, like here example need a conclusion so they this person needed to have a conclusion section so if I were that student I would be down here in this section here and I would make sure that I'm over here and then I type oops. conclusion course I'd probably go down here and I need to start typing a conclusion and then I need to have a works cited page and once I've done that I can come back here delete that comment accept this change now here's the thing once you've done all these and you've corrected all the changes so the additional thing is that this person needed not only to type that but wherever the next fresh page so I would assume it wouldn't appear right here but it like Ideally, I would think the conclusion would probably end up on this page here, which in this case is page three, and this would become page four. But I would need to have a work cited for that, and that would come from this piece right here, Wade, comma, Mark, and Sam C. Wilson, Black Widow number one, Marvel, publishing, whatever year. Okay, and that would need to be down here, and then I would need to provide in-text citations when I enhance both my analysis section and my summary section. Okay, and then of course include a conclusion. And then once you're done, you have it corrected, of course, remembering again that I turned that track changes stuff off, I should have a clean paper. There should be no lines here on the left-hand column. There should be no gray box over here at all. And now I've got a clean copy that I can now turn in and save as my final draft. All right, thank you.